Hi, my name is Audie Anderson. I've been uh, working here at the New York WOD 21 years. Hi, my name is Michael Lugo. I've been with the company for 22 years. My name is David Worman, and I've been working with the company for 13 years. My name is Lolita Aquino. I'm an athletic trainer with Insight Health, and I've been an athletic trainer for two years. Today we're going to show you some of the techniques we use when delivering kegs in the workplace. Today we're going to look at four different types of accounts that we experience in the marketplace every day. We'll talk about techniques and stretches that will help you in every delivery, and we'll also talk about specifics that will help you at some of your toughest. One of the most important things that you can do to decrease your risk of injury in the workplace is to make sure that you're performing your daily stretches and your rapid warm-ups. These will help to improve your blood flow, it will help to improve your overall body movements, and it will also help to increase flexibility. Here are just a few examples of Inside Health's Pro-Fit daily stretching that you can do on the go. Remember to always use proper form. Hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds, and don't forget, when performing any of these stretches, you should never feel pain. If you find yourself in a painful position, back off the stretch until the pain is eliminated. Okay, we're starting our work day, and today I'm wearing my standard uniform, which has high visibility striping, so that I can be more visible to oncoming traffic or other pedestrians that might interfere with my daily work day. Uh, I also have on steel toe boots to help me in case I drop something on my foot, and I'm wearing uh, special gloves. Today I'm wearing draft gloves because I'm going to be working with the barrels and the draft gloves are especially important because they have extra cushion on them to help uh, in case I do make a mistake and get an impact it lightens the damage or possible uh, injury. We want to make sure that you guys while out on deliveries are always maintaining your power stance whenever possible. The power stance it consists of your feet shoulder width apart and staggered as you can see. What this does, it allows your spine to be in a natural curve and it also widens your base of support, which helps with balance while you're out on your deliveries. What this also does is it decreases the stress placed on your shoulders and your low back, while also helping you increase your reaction time because of your better balance. The first thing you want to do when opening the bay door is square up to the door. Next, you want to use both hands while you're in your power position and the hands in handshake position, you will lift the bay door up to shoulder height. Once you get to shoulder height, you will switch your hands and push the door the rest of the way. Uh, it's good to remember when approaching the bay door, two hands on the strap on your way up. Remember, if you feel any resistance on the way up, usually a good indication that there's something leaning against the door. So beware. Also, when coming up, shoulder door slides smoothly to prevent any shoulder injuries on the way up, you don't want to jam it, end up jamming up your shoulder. In this case, we use load bars to secure the load, to, keep, to prevent the barrels, kegs, cases, whatever might be in this bay, from falling against the door. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how to take a keg out when there's seven kegs in the bay. First, I have to remove my load bars. my keg bumper and now I'm ready to go and get the keg so I'm gonna get into my power stance I'm gonna get as close to, to the barrel as I can keep my elbows in tight so that I'm working in, in the green zone if I can for the best leverage and the best use of muscles I'm gonna take my keg and I'm gonna lay it down flat before I do anything all right this way I have a good handle on it I stay close to my power stance so I can control the drop of the keg I drop the keg to the lift. Okay, then I'm gonna get my bumper ready. I'm gonna put my keg down onto the bumper. And, that's it. and now we want to make sure we stress the importance of doing your active warm-ups while you're on your routes. Okay, you should be doing these before your routes or even during micro breaks throughout the time that you're making your deliveries. The first one we want to stress is shoulder squeeze. For the shoulder squeeze. It's going to look like this. Notice that he's squeezing his shoulder blades back as he's doing this warm up. The next one we will be doing is side reach, which is performed like so. Notice how he's using his power stance 
and bringing his arm straight across while keeping his back aligned properly. Next we'll be doing the active squat, which is performed like so. And for our last rapid warm up, we're going to be doing our back extension, which is performed like so. Okay, we're at Faces and Names. Uh, I already knocked on the door to get the porter to come open the gates to me. Now I'm going to make sure there's no obstructions on the staircase before I go down. Okay, uh, this particular stop, we're going to do what's called a bounce, where we put the keg on the hand truck and use the hand truck to bring the keg down. This is a pretty decent staircase here. It's straight, no dents, no obstructions. So we're going to use the glide to bring our keg down. Okay, getting ready for our next stop. I'm about to walk down the stairs and make sure they are clear of any debris and it's safe to make the delivery. Okay, staircase is clear. Everything else looks good. There's a clear path to where I have to make my delivery. <clears throat> this particular stop has a nice staircase. However, sometimes when it rains or it snows, the stairs get very slippery because it's a metal staircase. So today, since it's dry, and clear, I'm going to be able to use my hand truck. But in the event that it was a slippery or a wet day, they also have a slide available that I could use if I choose. Today, we're going to use the hand truck. Okay, when I'm going down the stairs with the keg, I'm careful to keep my elbows in tight to my body and to make sure that I keep the hand truck tilted back for the weight so the keg doesn't move forward. I try to keep my posture good and I never ever let both feet on the same step at the same time. It's always one step at a time, but keep a step in between. Okay, I'm about to knee a keg down the stairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the keg flat on the surface before I move it. And then position it so I get ready, and then I'm gonna bring it down to the first step and continue down. This is the safest way to do it for the staircase because it's steep and there's no real good keg slide. There's a few things you want to focus on when you're at a delivery like this. One of them would be to make sure that your posture is nice and correct. The next thing you want to do is make sure your elbows are in close, your wrists are in neutral or in handshake position throughout the entire delivery. You want to make sure that you contract your abs and that you use your core while performing this delivery as well. Okay, I'm about to take this barrel down the slide to my partner at the bottom. Before I do anything, I want to make sure that A, he's ready. Well, I look down below and expecting the barrel. Then what I want to do is I want to lay it down and place it onto the slide carefully because I don't want to lose control because otherwise I can harm my partner or myself. Put the barrel onto the slide. I take a step down. Make sure I get a good grip on the handle. I use my hand for support and I let the barrel slide down to my helper at the bottom. Alright, so what we're doing now is I'm waiting for the keg to come down. Stay puts it on the slide. I'm making sure as I'm standing here before it's on the slide. I'm making sure there's nothing in my way. The footing is clear. As the barrel comes down, I want to make sure I'm standing on secure ground. One hand on the keg, guiding it down. We're able to take it. Two hands. When you're at a delivery where you have to use the slide, you want to make sure of a few things. 
first you want to make sure that your legs are in their power stance that you're having control of the keg you also want to make sure that you don't let the keg get too far ahead you want to preferably have it within forearms distance away you also want to make sure that your hands are in their optimal joint positions that they're in that handshake position we talked about earlier we also want to make sure that you're focused on the job duty and that you're engaging your core muscles whenever possible show you several different types of deliveries that we come across in the marketplace today and showed you how to deliver them safely. If you find yourself at a different account, you can notify your supervisor or your athletic trainer. Sometimes there is no safe way to make the delivery. In that event, you need to contact your supervisor. We want to make sure that we focus on our stretches, our warm-ups, our optimal joint positions, and creating good posture while you're performing these deliveries in order to decrease your risk of injury. Thank, Thank you for your commitment, commitment to work safe, live safe. safe.